Let's lift our hands and bless his name. Father, we give you praise for tonight. Lift your hands all over the building. Let's just bless his name. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you Worship him in this place. You are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Sing, move by your spirit. your hands and bless. Just lift your hands. Express your passion and your desire. Go ahead and bless him everywhere, inside and outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. O omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in. Oh, me, potent Father, and grace. you are welcome. welcome Spirit of the Living God, we thank you. I pray tonight that you will visit us and give us an encounter. We have come before your mighty presence. Open our eyes and cause us to see. Open our ears and let us hear the sounds from heaven. Lord, we bless you. Holy Spirit, we cannot do without you. And so we declare that this ground is open. We bow down and worship Him. Worship Him. Oh, worship Him. 
we bow down and worship him worship him oh worship him lift your voice and sing we bow down and we enter in we bow down and worship we enter in enter in Is the consuming fire consuming fire sweet pursue his awesome presence fills this room this is holy This is holy ground. This is holy ground, say. Oh, come, oh, come, oh, come. And come. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called the voices again one more time sing
Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, sing it from your heart. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, take your place, take your place, take your place. I love you more than life. Shibala Kataba. Hallelujah. Let me teach you a little song. 
I wrote this song years ago. It's a very simple song. It says, let the weight of your glory fall. And let it cover all the earth. Oh goodness, the presence of God is mighty in this place. Mighty. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. That's all to the song. Sing it from the depths of your heart. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. That's our desire. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Can you sing it? Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover. Lord, let your Shekinah mantle us tonight. Let it cover all the earth. Come on, lift your hands, lift up the instruments. Let it cover all the earth. This is our desire, oh God. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory. Go ahead and worship him. Your presence is mighty in this place. Mighty in this place. Yeah. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. Je Maria, Je Maria, Mosuta, ba 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 ba. Je Masuta, Maria, ba 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 ba. Je Rekonia, Mala, 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 Mos. Mala, Mala, Mos. Ori, Mala, Mala, Mos. Mama, Masono, Mos. Igere, Ne, 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 Mos. Mala, Mala. Go ahead and sing in the spirit. Go ahead and put melodies upon your prayer. Shama na 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 mas hutu bakata balada bakata prende kete rakata balada seba baba rada balada rada box shuba rada 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 box sumari na 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 eh eh 
Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Say. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Oh, he arises as a man of war tonight. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Kappa te kappa. Sen te kappa. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Sen anamali anamot. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. Jena na mani na na na. King of kings. So let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? The flood gates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Would you open the flood gates of heaven? Listen, I hear the rain, I hear the rain. He's opened the floodgates of heaven. Tonight we see the rain. We see the rain. He's opened the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the blood gates of hell. Go ahead and worship. Let it rain. Open, open the blood gates of heaven. Let it rain. The rain, I hear the rain is open the flood gates of heaven. Lord, we hear the rain, we see the rain, let it rain, let it rain. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. 
Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. I arise with healing upon my wings. Say the Spirit of God. I arise with healing. I arise with healing. I arise with healing. The healing power of God is in this place. I arise with healing. Adonai. Lamb of God, forget about the rain and worship. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, let your kingdom reign in my heart. Adonai. I do not I do not I do not Sing it together I do not I do not Go ahead and pray in tongues. Edify your spirit. Shata prata kata bala da bakata prata kata bala da bakoso prando gotosh. Shaka taba raba da bala da bakata praga da bala da bots. Mam prapa ta kata prata kata kata bala da bakoto fras ke bala. Shaka taba la da bots. Eka te pros ke bande ke le baria ta baria da baba baba baba. Shoko to baka praga da bala da bots. Enkra ta kata le koso posi bala kata. Shakata rakatos kopondo goto pros ke bala da ba. Meka le bas ke priya da bala da bas ke prondo shubai. Rabe de ge de bala da boko to fraga da bala da bas. Apare de boko to pros ko prendi ge de bas. Le kata pros ko pondi kres ke bala kate. Jo proto koto prekata bala da bakata fa. Jo to bakoto prekata le bakoto prende kate. Shaka de 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 bala da bako soto praga da bala da baka sende kate bakate pras kapada. Shaka ta baka para ta fa. Shaka ta ta baka ta ba 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 ba. Shaka ta ko soto bako suba kata bala da bas. Mente prata kata prakata kata bakata. Lende ko soto boko to frende kete ekrata kasi kete le koto boko to brega da ba 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 me kete pros koto ba kete le kete se kete brende kete pros ko pros ko ba raga da ba le kete brende kete ba la da ba me kete pros dos ko pros to koto bos le kete brende kete pros kete ba kete 
Lakata prosper, ba 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 ba. Pray, 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 pray. Build your spirit. Make intercessions. Let the proskopa tabalaba. Make contact with heaven. Leketosko bron kabashka barete koska dabai. Rise through prayer. Le bronze kebosha bal ke bronze kebariata. Make the proskopa laba daba dakatai. Take charge over the heavenlies. Shante proski bati kata tata tapa kata. Shakata tata bakata pala da boss. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Shoto to goto prokoto polo do bokoto fresh. Dekate bali bati abalabats. I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication. Makata prakata parakate. Shakata bakata prokoto poko sakate. Shakate rekate makapo shambatia. Akrakata gade gade bagade bagade balada bakoso to poko to pragade gade. Makapa koto shopo koto balaba. Mente prata kata lekete boska. Emprot kaposka bande kaposhe baska. Lekete poko so proto koto pakate. Mekete protis kabaria da baska emprot kebos. Akrata tata poko to pros ke ba 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 ba. Lekete poko rasika te balada ba. Shakata pros kubari kete. Zinde kete lekete ba 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 ba. Super Papa Kata Balada Bakati Kata Balada Ba. Come on, pray, Koinonia. Zikete Kete Ba 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 Ba. Shekete Le Ba Kapron Zepata Kata. Shekete Le Ba Kata Ba 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 Ba. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Don't be tired. This is part of the meeting. This is koinonia. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There's an army. There's an army rising up. Don't break every chain. Lift your hands, everyone. Shika pata tabala daba. Lift your hands. Shika parente kabala daba shika tai. Mande krata la pa koprondo skobali kariada. Zete parata parikata. Zeka tere potsu kotoi. Shikele po sataya. Keep your hands lifted up. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to be touching men, touching women. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back. The power of the Holy Ghost. That's what happens when we worship. Yeah, yeah.
the Lord is breaking limitations the Lord is breaking limitations breaking limitations breaking limitations breaking limitations Hallelujah. 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 Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. We are going to pray in tongues. Listen, within these five minutes, there will be a busting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer. Trust me. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. The Bible says, while they prayed, the Holy Ghost said unto them, Separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord, as we pray tonight, let there be impartations, let there be openings openings of portals openings of vessels pray pray so pray like a priest pray like a priest the Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Spiritual doors are opening. Spiritual doors are opening. I see spiritual doors opening. Spiritual doors are opening. Access, access, access. Access is being given to men. Access to deep spiritual things. Access, access is being given to men. Access in the spirit. Access in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. He told Jacob, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. Come on, lift your voice and pray. Let's 
There's an army, they are rising up, they are rising up, there's an army, they are rising up, there's an army, rising up. We will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Tell me, what can I do? I can live without you. I can live without you. Tell me, what can I do? I can live. There's a part of I want to sing. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Come on, lift your voice. Chant it in the spirit. Oh, 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 
Just the voices. Oh, oh, oh. Sing it one more time from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. This is koinonia, an experience of intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a family that has been on my mind. I don't know if they are here. The family with the... Is it the mad person now? Or the... Are they here? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We're in for an experience tonight. I began to see this right from the morning. I'm telling you, chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. I still hear this in my spirit. Chains are breaking. 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 Oh, let the chains break. Every chain over everyone here. Every chain. Every chain, every chain, every assault of darkness, every chain, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, every chain, every chain, every chain is broken right now. Chains of habits, chains of limitations. You're the person. Please confirm it. Where's the family that there was a there are people that spoke to me about someone. They are not here. Someone who got mad or psychosomatic. It's not a word of knowledge. There is a family that I'm supposed to minister to here. Okay, if they are not around, that's okay. Why are you here? Your brother, your elder brother. What's wrong with him? Come. How many years? Seven years. Where is he? At home. I'll pray the Lord will use you as a point of contact. Lord Jesus, let your power touch the brother, even through him, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me many ladies with abdominal pain. Just place your hand there right now. The Lord is showing me many people, especially ladies. Hallelujah. I'm just going to rebuke it and I see like, like they look like guns, but it's fire, literal fire. It will live and it will hit you and that is the end of it. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, right now i cost that pain go now go now 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 every devil of darkness responsible for every pain i cost you now in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus, the of the lord jesus. be healed right now be healed the power of God is healing them right now right now right now you may not even know right now the sign is that it will touch you it must touch you you can't stand on your feet if you are part of this list it will touch you that's what the Lord is showing me 
Paparate katete tete baka. So protoko to balaba kata pati adaba. Sonto pakaria kata. I cause that pain. I cause that spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hand on your chest. The Lord is going to rebuke blood conditions right now. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. All those who are part of it, there will be this same fire. It will come upon you in a mighty way. It's a sign that you are the one God is touching. This is not something fake. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Right now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, blood conditions, I speak to you. All those affected, may the fire of God set you free. Now. 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 Now the power of God is touching people. Right now. Right now. I cause that devil. I cause that devil. I cause that devil. I cause that devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cause that spirit. I cause that spirit. I see visions of the spirits of infirmity. Living people. Living people. Living people. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cause that spirit. The Lord is showing me two ladies. And I'm seeing a guy. You have a problem with sleeping. You don't sleep. No matter what happens, you don't sleep. You just stay awake and sleep never comes. Where are they? Two ladies I see the Lord showing me. Please, let's save time. And one guy. Please save time if, if, if you are the one. Just so that save us all of the time. How long has it been? Huh? Six months. How about you? Huh? I'm seeing your hands chained. Your own situation. There's, there's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. There's still one more lady. There's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. Hallelujah. Come, I have to pray for you. Yours is more than a sleep problem. Hold my hands. I cast this chain in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go right now. And I break by the power of the Holy Spirit. This spirit that causes you not to sleep. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. How many months? Six months. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free right now. You will begin to sleep normally in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is touching someone's ear right now as I speak. The Lord is touching someone's ear. You will literally feel as though a cotton board is put in your ear and all of a sudden it will open up and become clearer. Thank you Lord Jesus. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a lady of a breast lump. You began to see this. You've not even shared it with many people. Breast lump is living right now, right now, dissolving and going back to hell, never to return to you again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are four people. Listen. There are four families that as I speak right now, the angel of the Lord is going to their homes and is causing major breakthroughs. Listen. Listen. It's not, it's not just prophecy for everybody. Four exact people. One. There are four of them. Two. The angel of the Lord literally, literally, literally 
is entering these homes and they are receiving dramatic breakthroughs dramatic breakthroughs the Lord is showing me over 10 people and I see academic chains this is what I see 10 people 10 people and this is not your fault 10 people I'm going to begin to count 1 to 10 and goodness it's like fire 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 I cast those spirits 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 I cast those chains I cast those chains I cast those chains It comes to an end I tell you it comes to an end that chain breaks now and forever it comes to an end hallelujah let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing if this is all he does tonight that's all right hallelujah hallelujah I'm seeing two eyes in the spirit and God wants to open up at least 19 people here in the realm of visions and supernatural experiences. Listen, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, prophetic fountains, those eyes in the spirit, sheketata parata. Sheketete pokotosh. At least 19 people. At least 19 people. Shataka bariata. Fire. Physical fire. Coming upon your eyes. Physical fire. Coming upon your eyes. Open them up, oh God. To these dimensions of supernatural revelations. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord. And God wants to cause barrenness from two families. Now, two families, right now, just two families. Father, wherever these families are represented, right now, let your power visit and set them free now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands this row. All of you here, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. From the front, right to the back, there are people that God again is visiting their families. Families, families. God is bringing breakthrough right now right now just this row lord in the name of jesus let those families let the angel of the lord there are angels walking through this crowd right now right now right now in the name that is above all names angels of the lord walking to families performing specific miracles specific miracles specific miracles Specific miracles. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. 
Madonna. Elohim Madonna. Elohim Madonna. Elohim Madonna. Hallelujah. I cast that spirit from this lady in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. There are some devils that need to leave this place right now. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now. Every service is miracle service. Are you getting my point now? We're going to shout that name, Jesus. My goodness. I'm telling you, major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. The symbol. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name. I command every devil and every spirit every act of witchcraft and divination in the name of jesus and at the count of three they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return are you ready now one two three i cause devils now i cause spirits now i cause spirits every wicked spirit out of God's people out of every family now I break spells I break witchcraft I break the power of divination bring them out bring them out I cause that power it's not just them, families, their families. I set fire, fire, fire upon altars. I set fire upon I set fire upon Hallelujah. Lift your hands again. God is visiting families. This is not about you. All the people here are representing families. Lift your hands. Oh, the fire of God must fish them out. There is no hiding for any spirit. Shh. At the count of three, you will shout that name at the top of your voice. And a sword of the spirit will go to your family there must be deliverance tonight are you ready now one two three Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. 
all the people you see here they are representing their families god is stepping into families those doors must be open i see ancient gates in the spirit ancient gates and i'm about to command them to open listen when i command those gates to open those affected you will feel it physically these are the gates that cause limitations over people and families but in the name that is above all names i come tonight under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. <laughs> Gates of advancement. I command you be open. I command you be open. Hallelujah. Any family, lift your hands, that is tied down by any kind of limitation. I don't care what it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else, in this place, this is the mount of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough. Be be open now Amen. by the force of the spirit be open now be open now be open now be open now hallelujah Say after me in the name of Jesus. Name Come on, Jesus. shout it, shout it. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I, declare I declare that every force, that every force stopping, the of my stopping the advancement of my family by the fire of the Holy Ghost, live now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every power you must be in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Pick up your Bibles, Daniel chapter 10. The devil is in trouble tonight. Parakata. Daniel chapter 10. You have come for koinonia. It's an experience. It's a mountain. Something must change about your life. Daniel chapter 10. Verse 10. And behold. An hand touched me. And set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, 
a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright. For unto thee I am now sent. And when he had spoken this word to me, I stood trembling. Verse 12. Then said he unto me, Fear not. Daniel had been fasting and praying. He said, For from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard. And I am come to thee for thy words. Verse 13. But the prince, listen, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. And lo, Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me. And I remained there with the kings of Persia. Listen, the Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Then it says, against principalities against powers then against rulers then against spiritual wickedness they do not operate in the earth realm the bible says they operate in the heavenlies this prince of persia was the territorial spirit across the land of persia so when gabriel was bringing the answer the solution that prince stopped him. I have been put in charge of this territory to make sure that breakthrough does not come to men. To make sure that men are not lifted. But there was a man in the earth realm who kept praying. And while he prayed, it was on the strength of his authorization the, from the arsenals of heaven, the archangel Michael had to come because he's the archangel in charge of war. We are going to pray tonight. Every land has territories. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every land has territories. And there are spirits. Those of you who have listened to the message, give me this mountain. There is a spiritual dimension to life. And there are, met, there are certain things that will never manifest in your life until you prevail in prayer. Jacob held on to him. He said, I will not let you go. He said, leave me for the day break it. He said, no way. He said, what is thy name? He said, Jacob. He said, your name will be changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have power with God. And you have prevailed. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't let anybody fool you and tell you what we just read was the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, when you pray, it just comes. It, 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 it makes... Listen. The kingdom of God is a system. The earth realm is a system. Are you getting my point? It is as soon as Zion travails, hallelujah, that she will put forth. There is a birthing. This is the ninth month. If you didn't come to pray tonight, I'm so happy about the rain. Because you won't go anywhere. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray now? We are going to pray. Listen. We are going to confront powers. Zechariah chapter 1, please, quickly. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18. Zechariah chapter 1. Verse 18. Then I lifted up my eyes and I saw. And I beheld what? Four horns. A horn is a symbol of authority. Next verse. And I said unto the angel that talked with me. What? Be these what are these horns and he answered me these are the horns that have scattered judah these are the horns that have scattered jerusalem these are the horns that are making your father to never reconcile with your mother these are the horns that make finances to stop when it's about to come these are the horns hindering the gates of marriage verse 20 and the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then I said, what come this to do? He said, these are the horns that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. These are the horns that have robbed you of your testimony, of your joy. 
He said, so that no man does what? Lift up his head. They have put a barrier around your family and your life. And they have said, no man will lift up his head. So every time you want to lift up your head, there are horns. They station them. Hear me and take seriously what I'm saying. They have drawn the boundaries. Man takata. Goodness. I tell you, I sense deliverance fire in this place tonight. Oh, those horns must leave. For sure. There are horns stationed across territories to make sure that men do not rise. Some of you, this is a limitation. You are the first person in your family to get to the university. There are horns. But tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are going to step out and put on our priestly regalia. We are going to confront the heavens. He told Job, he said, Has thou commanded thy morning? Did you speak into the heavenly territories? Did you command the things to align themselves? We are praying tonight. The Bible says the stars fought for Deborah. She was a warrior and the constellations arranged themselves to make sure that enchantments could not go to the heavens. Lift your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on now. You have to be more serious than this. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. The power of the Holy Hallelujah. All right. That every power across my territory that wants to stop me and stop my family from rising up, I challenge you tonight by the blood of Jesus. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we are praying tonight. Jude 1. Jude 1, verse 9. You will see tonight that Satan is interested in this body that you wear. Jude 1. Everyone read. Want to read. Hold on. Do you see Michael again? Michael in Daniel contending against powers. He shows up again in the book of Jude. Read on. Want to read. Hold on. He disputed about the what? 
spirit, no. soul, no. body. body. Satan wanted the body of a man. Satan wants the bodies of men, not just their spirits. Because without a body, without a body, demonic activities cannot be carried out. The church is called the body that the Holy Ghost uses. It's called the body of Christ. The body that the Holy Ghost wears. There is a law in this realm that any spirit that does not have a body cannot function in this realm. So Satan wants the body of Moses. If he looked for the body of Moses, Moses in the Old Testament, how much more your own body? So he will afflict you. He wants your body. So he will manipulate your body and all kinds of objects moving around. But the Bible says, Know ye not that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Know ye not. Listen. We are going to pray. I'm establishing a prayer point. Jesus entered the temple which was his body and he found out that there were strangers in that temple. Are you getting my point now? Those who should be in the temple were not there and he found people doing business in the temple. There were transactions going on in his body. That's the same way Satan carries out all kinds of transactions in human bodies and you hear people complaining objects are moving in my body you see people sleep in the night and all kinds of devilish things come to oppress them tonight we are going to pray are you getting my point please if you are sitting except you are under the anointing stand up and let's take some time to pray you must get angry tonight and let's pray because something must break <laughs> hallelujah are you ready to pray lift up your voice Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare that, my that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. My body, my body belongs, to Jesus. belongs to Jesus. Therefore, every strange spirit, every strange spirit attempting to hold on to my body. I command you right now depart from my body now lift your voice and pray Every stranger, this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Everywhere the gospel was preached, Jesus demonstrated that he was not only interested in the spirits of men, but their bodies. What healing does to your body is what salvation does to your spirit man. Hallelujah. We are going to cause the root of sickness. I want you to get ready because the devil is in trouble. There's fire burning in this place this night. No matter how mad a man is, 
he does not enter fire by mistake in the name of madness are you getting what i'm saying no matter how stupid a man is in his insanity he knows fire when he sees it the bible says he maketh his ministers winds are you getting my point and his messengers flames flames of fire every stranger in your body is about to leave i don't care what it is called sickness is that let me tell you how you know that these things are demonic because many of us when you pray on it it will go and then later on it will return right? you are a lady they pray for you and then for one or two or three months you find out that your period just comes normally no pain no nothing and then in the fourth month it backfires again there are people recurrent headache all kinds of devils a growth comes and then it goes you pray and try to treat it it goes we are going to set it on fire right now are you hearing what i'm saying the bible says know ye not that your body i showed you from the book of jude satan was fighting with michael over the body of moses hallelujah this body is your legal access for living and functioning in this realm if it is battered beyond repair your spirit will no longer be able to stay there and it will have to leave so if satan cannot get to manipulate your mind he will batter your body in a way that your spirit cannot live and it will have to go we are going to pray many of us as you are praying right now you will be surprised huh? now is the time to pray all those hold on please one minute genotype Huh? I've read my Bible from Genesis. Please listen. This is very serious what I'm sharing. There's no mention of any nonsense of genotype in this Bible. Have you read your Bible? There are many ladies right now, many guys, they cannot even get married. They can't think of anything because the devil put one rubbish embargo called genotype. S, S, A, S and all of those rubbish. Now you want to get married or you want to settle down, they tell you no. Health wise, every parent is carrying their child and running away. The devil is in trouble tonight. We are going to pray. If he was not here, he should not be in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying. Whatever has affected this body has affected God's property. And we are going to pray. And invoke his presence that he will rise in his jealousy and attack any stranger are you hearing what I'm saying many of you as you pray growth will disappear see the trouble is that many of us have been praying but we we of course I know not here but generally we we do not know the power of the corporate anointing Psalm 133 talks of God depositing the blessing where people are gathered together in unity that's different from your personal prayer life are you getting my point now we are going to pray there are traits of infirmities around your family there are traits of infirmity in your life there are many of us all sorts of embarrassing conditions skin problems to the minutest to anything hear me no matter how small it is it is according to your faith tonight. Are you getting what I'm saying? He said, whatever my father has not planted, whatever he has not planted, he must be uprooted. Don't sit down and tolerate it. What you tolerate in your body, the devil will use it to destroy you. But when you resist the devil, the Bible says he will flee. Lift up your voice, we are going to pray again. Say after me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness, every infirmity, every abnormality in my body, hear the word of the Lord. I command you to leave this body now. I command you to leave this body now. 
Lift your voice and begin to pray. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, verse 24 and 25. Joel chapter 2. Let's start from verse 23. Joel 2, verse 23. Shikata baba 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 baba. Mondo grotto goto baladaba. Want to read? Verse 24. Verse 25. Shout it with all your heart. Shout it. Listen, listen, listen. We are still praying. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God. I place demand. For restoration. In my life. In my family. Hallelujah. We are going to pray that prayer again. You know the areas you want restoration. Please we are not playing games tonight. The presence of God is here. Hallelujah. When we get to that party, we'll mention it. And we're going to pray. The Bible says, I will. It didn't say, I will send someone. I will supervise your restoration. Hallelujah. The years. We're going to say, Lord, turn the hands of time again. Turn the hands of time. Let that which the devil has stolen be restored. There are things that need to be restored tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive, receive sevenfold restoration, seven restoration of everything the devil has stolen in my life. Now mention them. Your health, whatever it is. Lift your voice and pray. Restoration, 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 restoration
will see the desires of our hearts and our hands will handle it. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please sit down. Just give me 10-15 minutes and we're out of here. If this is all we have done tonight. It is worth it. There's no place for you to sit, stand, Sit on the floor, sit anywhere. Go ahead. The service is already on, so. Please, there should be no vacant seat. There are still people standing. The person is under the anointing. Let the person lie down on the floor and let someone use the seat. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what the word of God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what God has said. It's not even knowing that there is a kingdom principle. That's not revelation. Revelation is knowing how to make that principle work in your life. If it cannot work in your life, then it's useless. Hallelujah. See, we keep sharpening ourselves like this, like arrows in the presence of God. We're sharpening ourselves. Because we're trusting God to attain a statue in the spirit. Where no power in existence can stop your fulfilling God's destiny for your life. You believe that? There is a generation that is depending upon our faithfulness. The Bible says, he that sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. And he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life eternal. We are making investments in the spirit. We are laboring, we are traveling. You won't be surprised when you see your life and your prophetic destiny tomorrow because you will know that yes it is god's grace but paul said it this way i am what i am by the grace of god right but he said this grace was not showered upon me in that i labored more than ye all there is grace that manifests as the favor of god and there is grace that manifests as supernatural empowerment to do hallelujah the lord is changing your life i'm telling you gradually the bible says line upon line precept upon precepts your value system your life the quality of your christian experience is changing and then like the 71 day he will trust you with responsibilities he will send you and you will be shocked to see 
that he has built you to be his finest the finest of the finest of the best don't trivialize what god is doing in your life brothers and sisters week after week you're submitting yourself to the dealings of the spirit and it will translate into something in your life you may not look like it now see that there is no athlete who wants to look good when you are rehearsing have you seen an athlete like that you are conscious of your shoe let it not have mud. no 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 when when you are training you will see footballers get dirty and all of that but when they lift that trophy huh they can now dress and enjoy the celebration my bible tells me that no man that warreth will entangle himself with civilian affairs these trainings will prune you it will it will it will build you listen to me it will challenge you it will stretch you it will provoke you but when you submit to the dealings of the spirit the end of it is peace something will happen in your life that money cannot buy something will happen in your life that is not common you will now know that it is not common to be yielded to the spirit it's not a gift not everybody is interested there are many people who are born again but very few people are interested in the things of the spirit so god is teaching us we spend time now to pray and travel in the spirit you cannot imagine the levels of victory and so you would just step home and you see that doors begin to open and some of you your loved ones will not know they will just say aha uh -huh, things are working well now things don't just work they are enforced in the spirit learn this learn this learn this one day it will change it's a waste of time time does not change things are you getting me engaging kingdom principles 38 years that man was at the pool of bethesda in less than five minutes he got up he would have remained there forever So the word of God that you are receiving, you must believe it. Please hear me. You must believe it. If you're just sitting down and watching every week and just looking and hoping that this word will make sense one day, you may be deceiving yourself. The Bible says ever learning. Have you seen people like that? They have all of the revelation but never coming to the comprehension of the truth. Depart from those kinds of people. When you come into the presence of God, give your heart. It says meditate on these things. Give yourself wholly to them. And it gives you an assurance. What's the assurance? That thy profiting may appear. Look, let me tell you. Um, you see, if your life does not bear fruit after a particular time, you will be frustrated. Because it's God that sees the heart. Men look at the outward appearance. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Men do not have the ability to see the heart. So your Christian experience must translate into a testimony that glorifies the name of the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If it does not, your family members will never see the relevance of your commitment to prayer and to the study of the word, the disciplines and the constraints of the spirit. Say my life will bear fruit say it my life will bear fruit brothers and sisters if you go to your house and there is a sick person and you have a revelation and you pray for that sick person stand up my brother and you pray for that sick person and the sick person stands up do you know that that is a sermon that is more than one year of beckoning up? you don't need to invite people and say come for God no 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 the woman at the Samar the Samaritan woman said, Come and see a man that has told me everything I've done. What is the result in your life that compels people to want to know about God? If your life continues to remain a barren wilderness, there is no reason why people should be attracted to your God. There was something that Ruth saw, and she told Naomi, He said, My your God will be my God. 
Hallelujah. It's not just for you to come and watch a man of God doing great things. No. It's to provoke your spirit and you go back with that anointing. You're not falling down for nothing. Say, I'm anointed. Say it. Some of you are even laughing at yourself. Say it. It has nothing to do with fivefold ministry. It has everything to do with being alive. Hallelujah. And you step into your house, you step into your place of work, and you step in as an ambassador, as an envoy. Don't let people mock your emoji. Emoji for nothing. Emoji, emoji. They keep calling you. When there's trouble, they pass you. You are emoji as a nickname. No. Emoji, you say yes. And they pass you and, and you are not contributing anything to the kingdom. Elisha said, hi, I love that guy. He said, let Naaman come and know that there is a prophet in Israel. Hallelujah. That there is a prophet in Israel. Can the devil look at your family and say, ah, if, if only I can shift Zuera out of the way. And like a big hen, you stay there and say you are invited. I have become a shield. He said, as for me and my house. For many of us, it's as for me and myself. It must translate beyond you. Are you getting my point? You shield others. You are minding your business and you see the devil trying to oppress somebody. You say, Satan is my business is my business whether you invite me or not it is my business you must let this person go hallelujah listen it's not enough for you don't get used to seeing miracles healings deliverances you know in koinonia we're so used to miracles when it happens you just watch one of those things that's happened again you see it's a lesson, it's a handwriting upon your life. Are you hearing me? That God is challenging you and telling you that your life ought to be supernatural in every way. Not just by making noise and disturbing people when they are sleeping, praying in tongues. No. It must translate. It says, let your light so shine before who? Before yourself? Before men. You already know you have the light but they do not know. It said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good and as a result, praise your father in heaven. When was the last time someone spoke to you about his situation and you said, that's all right. That's all right. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you picked up your phone. You said, let's pray. Many of us, it's just, hey, yeah. See, I just returned from Koinonia. It was powerful this night. Ah, you missed. And Ben said, I'm, I'm having a little stomach ache. Say, oh it's like that let's let's just lie down it's too late the chemist is closed or, or, no 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 no. you need to get angry one day are you hearing what i'm saying as soon as you get home you hear your sister saying finally my name came out they are about to to downsize me and 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 do all of that and you say oh i'm sure that god knows how he will work things out look at what you are saying you are the ambassador you are the voice of god in that room you must die one of the things i've learned listen to me one of the things i've learned about working in the anointing is that you must die to your ego hello are you hearing what i'm saying many of us are so conscious what if i i tell the people god will bless you and god doesn't bless them tomorrow they will now see me and say pastor That prayer, you know, people are so funny. Pastor, you prayed and the prayer didn't work. Oh. And you feel stupid, you feel embarrassed. If I do well, God should take the glory. If nothing happens, who should take the shame? I, I answer me. Who should take the shame? So if you are taking the shame, you are being. Hallelujah. Go and pray for the sick person. Pray. Let the person die in your hands. No problem. Just pray. You now go and find out what is wrong with you. And then the person says, there's, there's one wound. If I open it, you say, ah, 
You wouldn't have even told me. Look, just quietly go to the hospital. Oh. Challenge your faith. Hallelujah. Say me, I'm not a man of God's wife. I want peace. I don't want to trouble Satan. Let him know. Take away, you see, I believe that our mindsets are changing. That mindset of, I don't trouble you, Satan. Don't trouble me too. Let's all mind our business. It does not work in this earth realm. Are you getting what I'm saying? It does not work in the earth realm. There are many of us, I would not be surprised that there are some of us who sit down like that. You believe that because you are not active in the things of the kingdom, when the devil comes, you will jump you and go and look for those who are really causing him trouble. And he said, the devil pass, please pass. I don't have anything. I didn't look for any trouble. It doesn't work that way. Satan does not disturb you because you have become a slave to him. Right? But you must, you must tear down the assaults of the devil over the lives of people. Say one more time, I'm anointed. Say it, I'm anointed. The Holy Ghost just took over this meeting. Let's just flow with the way he's I'm anointed. Look at your hands. Everyone look at your hands. I know you have been insulting it. That it doesn't look nice. Forget about all those ones. Look at your hand. Whatever you have there is your hand. Whether it's rough or smooth, it's irrelevant. Just look at your hand. I'm talking about the spiritual, the spiritual content. I like you to say, my hands represent the hands of Jesus. They carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. They can produce results and work wonders. Do you believe that? This is, God bless you, this is my mentality. This is my mentality. My hands are not just for eating. No. It's, there, is, there is something upon my hands. Jesus has placed his hands upon my own hands. Many of us, we keep falling down and rising, but we are not blessing anybody. I want to ask you a few questions. Just a few minutes and then we'll round up. Listen. How many of us believe we are anointed? We just said we are all anointed. The question I have for you tonight is, who has your anointing brought to the kingdom? Has your anointing been able to save anybody? I once was lost. Huh? Come brother. That this brother was lost and on the strength of the anointing that you have, whether it was to save him, to get him healed, he has now come into the saving knowledge of the kingdom. If your anointing, listen, I will tell you why many people do not see more of the anointing in their life. They want anointing. And the first question is for what? What do you want it for? So you'll be speaking and people will fall down. If that is your definition of the anointing, if that is your scope, you know, especially the youth, we like power. And, and there's nothing wrong with it. You like the fact that you just sit down and say, I'm speaking. Some of you, while I was talking and things were happening, you were, it was as if you were pouring cold water in your body. Calm down. The Lord is speaking to you right now. Calm down. If there is no passion in your heart to see his kingdom come, I am telling you now, you do not need the anointing. And you shall receive dunamis. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Please project it for us. And you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And that power is to an end. It says, and you shall be what? Witnesses. Witnesses. Who is a witness? Who is a witness? If Tosin slaps this gentleman and I saw it, what do you call me? A witness. If we go to the court, I say, Tosin, really, slap. I saw it. So I'm a witness. The Holy Ghost makes you a witness. You were not there when Jesus died. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? You were not there when Jesus died. Were you there? You were not there on the cross. But now you are standing to represent a message that you were not there physically. So the Holy Ghost says, at least I was, I, was, I was there. I was not in Jesus on the cross, but I was around. I saw everything. Let me partner with you. You do the talking, and then I will prove that you are not a liar. Are you getting what I'm saying? 
So you tell the sick that Jesus has healed you. All of this rubbish sickness is over. And the Holy Ghost says, yes, I was there on the cross. By his stripes, this guy has been healed. And you stretch forth your hands. And the Holy Ghost validates that your claims are true. Everyone say, I'm a witness. But the, the challenge is that many of us are not witnesses indeed. You have roommates. You have people in your workplace. And there's no transformation. No transformation. The Lord is speaking to us tonight. Hallelujah. I may not have time to talk so much about it but I, I, I really wanted to talk extensively on soul winning tonight when God just took over we give him praise hallelujah we give him praise because at least he visited people and he blessed people but the question I have for us is that who is coming to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ because of the investment of the spirit upon your life there are many of us who are the only ones who are born again in our family. There are many of us, you leave people just in and you get up and carry your Bible and come for koinonia. And you are happy. Again and again, we've had people here, especially students, when they're in their final year, some of them get to find out about koinonia. It's not like they do not know, but for many people, the God of this world has blinded their minds. They don't care. Are you getting my point? And some of us just sit down, we just watch. And the devil keeps destroying these lives and then at a point where they have two or three weeks to get out of zaria then they come and you see them crying and wondering and getting angry with you and you say sorry it's okay now and then you don't do anything about it again the lord is speaking to us do you know why many ministries let me be sincere with you do you know why many ministries are small small in terms of membership and small in terms of impact look at every ministry that there is a rich investment of the ministry of the holy spirit they are committed to turning many into righteousness right and transforming lives why should i want the holy ghost in my life why should i want his anointing when i'm not interested in praying for the sick right when i'm not interested in 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 seeing people set free you see the church has reduced anointing to money hello hello and many of us are already becoming victims of this theology our concept of anointing is just power to prosper so i have the anointing meaning i have the anointing to prosper financially so you buy the car you buy the clothes you build the house you do everything and you say i'm anointed if you have ever doubt my anointing look at the fruits of my anointing car house will car go to heaven answer me will house go to heaven listen listen brothers and sisters we must begin to live having the passions of god in our heart there are many of us here we used to be committed to genuine evangelism genuine evangelism and we are allowing this this demonic wave of complacency in the church to just come around there are many churches i say this with all apology and due respect they cannot even remember the last time they made an altar call and they don't care correct they don't care to an extent that we can preach and look at many evangelical meetings and crusades right now on the crusade ground is money they are raising and doing miracles as great as that is the end of all of these things is to see a soul not just saved in terms of the religiosity saved but lives transformed every society is a reflection of the quality of the mindsets that are there this is why we are passionate and committed we do everything that we do week in week out to make sure that souls are saved and lives are transformed you will notice that i've almost not missed any koinonia meeting no matter where i am no matter where i am i try to make sure that friday i am back you know why because 
this work is my primary assignment any external ministration is just an extension of the apostolic impact are you getting what i'm saying now but this is the core and some of you are pastors let me talk to you or some of you are men of god you have your church you are in a year you will only preach once or twice and members are just sitting down and being confused under different kinds of messages and theologies everybody coming with his i believe in the corporate input of the body but the man the one that god has put as a shepherd you must stay and build the people you are constructing an ideology and it must be sustained so that the people are built in that ideology so that they won't be tossed through and through by every junk and every wind of doctrine there are some things when some of you here now you won't even pray about it is that true on account of what you have known the word of god comes to build you but when it builds you it creates a sense of responsibility you can't just be falling for nothing and then you stand up and you just clean your body and when you are going you say guy i fell today again oh, i've been falling the last three weeks this person said me too oh, this thing i don't know how it works that's not the goal it's not a thing to just it's, it's it's for you how many of you here have have sat down to say look bring five thousand bring five thousand let's make a very serious tract track that is well edited and and has the kingdom not religion say i don't have a ministry you don't need a ministry you need passion you see that's the mindset we all have huh we believe that for impact to ever happen you must have a ministry so three friends come together they bring the five five thousand and say come let's settle this who is the geo of this group who is the real geo if they sow a seed now who does it go to that is to be carnally minded the bible says is dead that's that's really what carnality is that you are already that see judas was not a bad person judas was a carnal person he looked at jesus and he had a business idea the name of his business idea was jesus how he can use jesus christ and make money that was all that was why he didn't even use the money he thought that when they come to catch jesus christ he would do his majestic thing again when he found out that that thing had backfired he died he killed himself how many of us here we are on facebook some of us some of us are on twitter some of us are and we well not 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 many i say this for the sake of those who will be listening to the message there are many of us it's just rubbish if you are happy today everybody will know on facebook that you are happy joyful the sun is shining tomorrow if you are angry this world what a dark place your whole your whole emotional life on display idleness we don't live with the consciousness of the kingdom as you are laughing please take seriously what i'm saying hallelujah yet we want to see the glory of god in our lives what is wrong with using your posts and say lord i may not be a man of god i may not have the power to heal the sick now but i commit myself is that true to making sure that every week one soul is saved i must come for koinonia with somebody sister how has your beautiful face translated into soul winning in the kingdom let me talk to ladies your beauty is either bringing people into the kingdom or taking people out of the kingdom is that true there's nothing as neutral so the brother sees you and says sister you are very fine say we give glory to the, the name of the lord i'm inviting you let me use this opportunity and invite you if you are afraid of talking to the person about jesus christ some of us once they just say you are beautiful just say ah let me not bring jesus into it as if jesus is putting sugar inside food you know it's as if let me let me savor this moment now it doesn't come every day let me enjoy it jesus stay away let me not bring any religiosity and then the lord watches you from the throne and says you pray you want a ministry you want a ministry where you are everywhere you want an international ministry and god sees your heart and he knows that there are some levels of the anointing if we give this person you are going to be a disaster to the kingdom and he measured a thousand cubits 
that man was there until he proved that he was faithful then another thousand cubits was measured there are some of us even if you fast for 100 days i am telling you more anointing will not come until you step up your passion and your and your reckless abandon for the things of the kingdom we're afraid of being looked at as being fanatical right so many of us i'm not a man of god please please i can i can so see it you know there's this theology people teach there are those who give there are those who preach many people say i'm in the category of the givers no everybody's in all three categories you must give you must pray you must preach hallelujah don't just say me i'm a giver and then because the man of god really needs money desperately he said you are doing the same thing with me you who is giving me and preaching is all the same thing it's true that it's the same thing but if it's the same thing it means you can switch it's still the same thing preach to who has changed because of you how many of us does your presence judge sin and iniquity listen to what i'm saying does your presence i'm not talking of condemnation right I'm not talking of condemning people and just writing people off that's 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 something else that's a theology that came from hell but does your presence judge sin and iniquity truly that someone wants to do something bad and your presence is an inconvenience to the person for some of us your presence is a is a catalyst Bless your head thank god you have even come sir And then let me not even let me not just bypass this how many of us have truly made up our minds to part with iniquity listen listen please do not ever think that there is a way of negotiating your way into intimacy with god if you really want authentic power iniquity must be far from you when I talk of iniquity, you, you know what I'm talking about. It must be far. Don't say it does not matter. Don't say it does not matter. I'm repeating it. You must hear me. Don't say it does not matter. You will never walk in authentic power. That's why a lot of people cast out demons. The demons cast them too. Because they know that Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. We joke around with the issue of sin and iniquity in the body of Christ. And then we believe that because God is gracious, right? Iniquity is what will give Satan access to your life, your state of heart. Iniquity is not just sleeping around or drinking and smoking. They are fruits of that iniquity. Iniquity is a state of heart that is perpetually rebellious towards God and the laws of the kingdom the psalmist said if I cherished iniquity in my heart the Lord would not have heard me who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord he said he that has clean hands and a pure heart when there are still Christians giving bribe and taking bribe you will never see the hand of the Lord don't say it does not matter you want job somebody saying bring 250,000 and you are happy say it's like that it's nigeria please don't bring any church thing here bring it oh bring it because you are the don't try to dichotomize your life and say this is my social life this is my spiritual life what is the meaning of that nonsense in one of the revelations the four living creatures were in one body huh four dimensions functioning in one body We must be far from iniquity it has been the ancient key to the presence and the power of god and by the grace of god almighty we will not water it down in koinonia we will preach the full gospel i will tell you the truth the secrets that bring the glory and the presence of god there are many of us we watch all kinds of nonsense we think it does not matter look at look at the way your mind is huh? 
You can't look at a beautiful lady and just go free. As soon as they are sharing the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, you feel like starting another service for yourself because you have, you have polluted your mind watching all kinds of nonsense. It's a culture. It's a sacrifice. Am I blessing you tonight? Oh yes, it's a sacrifice. There are many of us ladies, anybody. You can even be walking on the road. Somebody will just park and say, enter. You say, oh, really? Let me enter first and find. What sort of, don't you live by values? Everybody say values. Say it, shout it, values. As a kingdom citizen, never forget this. We live by values. You may see us jump around, but let me tell you, the love of God constrains us. Hallelujah. Sister, let people be able to look at your life and say, how can a beautiful lady like this not be loose? And he said, no, I may be beautiful, but I have sold, I'm, I've given myself like a love slave to God. That I'm beautiful. You know, many brothers see our beautiful ladies. You know Koinonia has pretty ladies, right? Brothers, say amen. amen. They are your wives too, so say amen. amen. But listen to me now. The issue here is that before the transition between now and when they become your wives, you must mind yourself and discipline yourself and be a genuine Christian. Hallelujah. Brothers, let me give you a little secret. If you don't mind yourself with respect to ladies, I'm not talking of sleeping around ladies. Men that are overconscious about ladies never encounter the presence of God powerfully. I'm not talking of sleeping around. You are just thinking. It's, it's, still, it's still the same thing. You are, you are stopping your mind from entering certain dimensions of the secret place. I'm not saying frown at any lady after corner and saying, mm, I'm pressing it to God. No, that's not what I'm saying. There are many of us, our own encumbrances is what I call carnality. What you wear. You can be thinking of what to wear for Koinonia from Saturday. Which one will I wear? Let me add, it's, it's good. We believe in excellence, but be careful lest it corrupts your time. We believe in excellence, but let me tell you, it's better to wear bathroom slippers and come and focus and flog it out with destiny and change your life. Who cares whether you wear your visage or Gucci, thank God, but demons can bypass that visage and oppress your life and that's what we are trying to tackle in this place. Are you getting what I'm saying? When you take care of your spiritual life, then you can beautify your body. On the other hand, let me balance it. On the other hand, there are some of us that are careless about our, our bodies. We, we do not know that it's still part of spirituality. Right? What you wore yesterday, you just look at it, smell it, it's not very smelly. You just carry it and you're on your way to Koinonia. No. Be intentional about your coming here. Don't make it look like it's a mistake. Be intentional. Plan. These are all aspects of the kingdom. Let everything about your life, neatness, neatness, thoroughness, some of us are very dirty. The way you are sitting down looking at me like this. Your rooms, there are still plates. There. All these things are, I'm just showing you how that your life must draw people. It will either draw people towards God or away from Him. And don't you say it does not matter. The Bible says, add to your faith virtue. The word virtue there is moral excellence. Say I'm changing. Especially if you really are. Say it, I'm changing. Because some of you, as God is speaking to you, go back to your rooms and wash that plate this night. Wash it this night. Hallelujah. If, come sweetheart, if I'm going to get married to this lady, I'm taking my revelation of God together with all the unrenewed liabilities that I have, I'm coming to say, bring your own. And, and let's, let's, let's wed in holy matrimony. The question is, are you going to be a blessing to your partner? Or the person will look at you and say, had I known? What deceived me? What didn't I see? Huh? Say I'm a blessing. 
the bible says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed bless you you must be a soul winner from today whatever you will do to bring souls to the kingdom i say whatever in the positive way right don't go and do all kinds of babylonian things and say whatever let souls be one no in the kingdom the means is as important as the end i've taught you right because if if you say i am doing this and that so that souls will come i i allow the man to go for weekend with me because i'm trying to win him between now and the next one month he must be born again no no that's not that's not the kind of born again we're talking about praise the lord say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus i become serious with my spiritual life in the name of jesus i lay aside every weight and everything that corrupts my christian testimony two more things i'll talk about and then we'll pray and we'll be done hallelujah i want to talk about two things i have seen across that stops many souls from coming to the kingdom number one is anger among believers write it i don't know where this impartation of the spirit of anger flew and came from there are many of your anger is not demons the demons left since february miracle service but the anger is still there anger rage it is an aspect of your christian life you must blot out you must blot out please write it anger you can be as calm as a dove but when you get angry you can give it to anybody there are some sisters right here in this place you would have been married since if only you address this issue if you like go to prophet apostle pastor teacher you must change that thing. there are some brothers here you don't have friends you say i don't care i'm in a world all by myself you have beat everybody close to you because of anger your younger ones run away from you there's nothing about your life that is pleasing because of anger there are many pastors today the anger and the rage they have they can finish preaching even on stage they can almost slap the other person i said sing 10 or what, what are you singing and you are wondering and then the guy turns and says, let's pray and he's looking i say number two immorality immorality let's bury this thing this night look at me look at me do not let anyone please 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 koinonia my conscience must be clear before god and i must tell you do not let anyone convince you convince you that a life of immorality you can be able to patch your christian experience and patch immorality i'm saying it now you must hear me in jesus name i'm i'm telling you this from the depths of my heart there are many of you as i'm talking even the holy spirit is saying thank you jesus finally i'm getting to i'm not condemning you <laughs> I tell you the number of believers sir the number of believers that are compromising on their christian integrity especially over the issue of immorality this is probably one of the biggest reasons why many souls do not come to the kingdom if you're involved in all those things i love you but you must stop this night in jesus name say amen whether it be, you are part of it or not say amen immorality is not just sleeping around hold on so that you don't just say thank god me i don't sleep around even god knows hold on pornography pornography right now we have our blackberries it's amazing you check christian phones and see the kinds of things there i'll talk about it pornography all kinds of other devilish things and don't just blame the devil the 
day your roommate sees you and says, ah, what is this with naked? He says, it's Satan. I'm, I'm even waiting for the end of the month. No, don't mock God. Don't mock God. Don't make it look like you come for miracle service and say, Lord, I'm open. And then you receive that one. There are many of us who are great men and women of God, but this is the setback in our lives. Right? Look, listen to me. This is, this is Bethel, the place of bread. Huh? What I'm doing to you now is like a, a doctor giving a patient injection. You feel the pain, but that chloroquine must enter so that you will be healed. Immorality. Sisters, let me talk to you. You must create rules in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you have not been doing it, create rules. If you are in a relationship, talk about it. You are in a relationship with, with a lady. Part of the reasons why you are in a relationship with her is because you are physically attracted to her. Sit down and be saying, I'm a man of God and you'll be very surprised. Warn yourself. Tell yourself, myself, behave. Receive grace from God. Create boundaries. Huh? I, I will tell you this. Don't think, oh, this is the Lord. Mm -hmm. Man, if this law is going to keep you focused and useful, so be it. So be it. Hallelujah. There are many of us. Study yourself, sister. You know you are very vulnerable. Huh? Don't go outside and say, I know he's just a pastor. It's been long since I washed his plate. Was the plate not washed? Was it not washed? Thank God for your generosity, but you must be careful. Anything you cannot do in the open is questionable. Are you getting what I'm saying? And many of us who are pastors here, you are the, we are the ones that are subject to the greatest attack. Hear me. Hear me. Man of God, you accepted the call and you are careless with your life. You will be very surprised. If there is the call of God upon your life, guard your anointing. You see the way men embarrass themselves. You can fake healing. Deliverance is what will really show you whether you are all of that. You'll be casting at the demons. The demons are just laughing and saying all kinds of things. It should never be so. We are going to pray because I know that there are people affected in these areas. Are you getting my point? And trust me, if you think you need help, please see me for counseling. I am more than more than willing to help you we are a family don't say i'm a man of god i'm struggling with masturbation or struggling with immorality and i think is 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 an issue there's nothing to be ashamed of are you hearing what i'm saying there is nothing to be ashamed of because you see spiritual things cannot be hidden for too long they will find expression immorality is something we, we must work. I know God is helping us. We are young people, right? The TV, the media, all kinds of things. The, the challenge on the average young man right now is, is maybe 100 times more than it used to be 40, 50 years ago. I understand that, but it's still not an excuse. And please don't let anybody fool you that everybody is doing it. Huh? There are many of us that will tell you who is not doing it. No. Mm -mm. There are people who truly, truly have taken advantage of the grace of God and they love God sincerely. May you be one of such in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be one of such in the name of Jesus Christ. Make up your mind. And if you think you cannot hold yourself, start finding a wife quick. Quick. No, 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 no. I'm very serious. I'm not playing games. The Bible says it. It is Bibles. I'm not saying you marry because, mm -mm, but the Bible says if peradventure in your quest to love God and you find out that you have prayed, you have fasted, you know that this one is not demons again, please marry. I'm telling you this. Marry. It is a biblical, I say, it doesn't change anything. Are you joking? Are you married to know whether it changes something or not? Just marry. Obey the Bible. Don't start arguing with scriptures. Anger. Immorality. Immorality. You have, a, you have pastor friends or groups sit together and talk about this. Talk about this in love. Don't condemn people. And you, when somebody comes to meet you and says, see, I find myself sleeping around. You say, I knew it. The way I've been looking at you, I know you are not straight. No, no, no. 
that ministry is not given to you because that's the issue that's listen listen we're rounding up that's the reason why many people are unable to open up because they are afraid they don't trust us men of god they don't trust somebody comes and opens up and tells you this is the challenge in my life this is what i'm going through they'll say ah have you had forget everybody you see preaching on stage oh people are dying in silence the other person say what are you talking about i say i would just you something happened no as a minister you are a steward don't betray people's trust on you are, are you hearing what i'm saying but please i'm talking to you this is an admonishment from the depths of my heart you feel that there are issues compromising your christian experience and you need help by the grace of god god has anointed us to be able to offer you help and with jesus joy and with every open heart it's a privilege but don't sit down and die you can fake it before men but you see you are it's, it's a seed you are sowing it's a seed you are sowing we're going to pray just two prayer points rise up on your feet and we'll be done for tonight today's service was another dimension by the Holy Ghost hallelujah listen hallelujah while we are taking the first prayer point at the same time an altar call is going to be made please everyone listen this is a serious altar call there are many of us tonight who are saying lord please take my whole life i'm surrendering everything to you i'm tired of living life my own way you may have even given your life to christ before but you know that you are not serious with god and you want to step up your christian experience God has shown you that he wants to use you. He's shown you that he wants to do mighty things. But you are saying, Lord, I've, I've not truly surrendered everything. The moment we start praying, I'd like you to just come and go on your knees here. I would like to lead you to the Lord Jesus Christ. Young, old, whatever. Please, you need to truly make up your heart and your mind to the Lord. Hallelujah. The moment we start praying, please, I'd like you to come up. We're out of time. Prayer point number one. Prayer point number one. You're going to say, Lord, put a passion for souls. Put a genuine passion for souls in my life. That beginning from tonight, I will begin to be serious about winning souls and making sure that people are established in the faith. Lift your voice and pray. While they are doing that, all those who need to come out, find your way to the front. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you as you're coming. The remaining... The, the rest of us please keep praying god bless you all of you who are coming just come and kneel down here before god there are still people sitting down the lord is speaking to you if you need to be out don't wait for anybody find your way and come while the rest of us pray take it seriously tonight this is the beginning those of us who need to come out this is the beginning of your journey your spiritual journey to relevance your spiritual journey find your way to the front god bless you god bless you god bless you don't be afraid don't be ashamed this is home for you find your way the holy ghost is speaking to you if the holy ghost is telling you you need to be here then you need to be here I surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender all. Those of you in front, open up yourself to the Lord from the depths of your heart. I surrender all. I surrender all. Let's sing one more time. I surrender all. Jesus, we bless you. Make it my, make it my, make it my.
from the depths of your heart. Make your mark, make your mark, make your mark. Babu, Babu, Holy Command of Pain. Babu, Babu, Holy Command of Pain. Make your mark, make your mark, make your mark, make your mark. Babu, Babu, when he come out the clay. Oh, 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 able to allow atmosphere that permits the multifaceted dimensions of him to find expression is a prize to create that atmosphere but if and when you do then there is no limit to his outstretched arm if and when you do the prize is the alignment and the discernment to be able to set that atmosphere are we together now and when that atmosphere is set and then he comes then he reveals jesus in a remarkable way spirit of the living god we thank you mighty things you will do mighty things you will do we honor you and we bless you in the name of jesus god bless you please be seated for a few minutes our time is gone there's so much to do hallelujah can we honor all those who have led prayers, worship, great people. Bless our worship team. International is the name. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, this is a big shock. I'm just realizing, oh my God. Please let's honor Reverend Ubanduma and his lovely wife. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Please be seated. I was hinted he would be around, but I didn't know it would be for the vigil too. Bless you, sir. Bless you, ma. Amen. Let's look at um, a few things. I just um, want to encourage us on a few things and then we'll pray. John 14, verse 12. Thank you, Jesus. Those following us online, the Lord bless you. The Lord will honor you and touch you. And um, those outside, there are so many people. Overflow one, two, three, four by the road. May the Lord honor you and bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me just take a minute or two to inspire and encourage someone. Um, I just felt it really strong while I was preparing to come. Before we look at that scripture, you can leave it up there. But, you see, let me teach you something about commanding results. Among the many factors that are responsible, please listen. Among the many factors that are responsible for producing results, you need a very strong sense of desire and determination no one ever succeeds becoming passive careless 
and um, less is fair about life there is a level of passion and commitment you must communicate whether it is the pursuit of spiritual things your finances your life ministry business whatever it is success will always find expression in an environment where passion desire you know lots of believers want great things they want to step into deep dimensions of intimacy with the holy spirit many people want to walk in miracles signs and wonders they want very superior dimensions of the spirit manifested in their lives but largely our the communication of our desire and our determination the staying power the capacity to remain until that dimension is unfolded in your life i think that that is where many of us believers need to make a lot of adjustments we are generally very passive very very passive and very quite careless over the communication of our determination for spiritual things and you see the thing about god is it takes a level of desire god loves everybody he does not trust everybody trust is based on a track record a track record of hunger a track record of a, a predeterminate desire in your heart many of us have come here tonight i came i saw people outside you know some lying flat trusting god for a miracle probably they were carried here you know and all of that there must be a desire you may not have the power in yourself to lift yourself up from the wheelchair or from the crutch or whatever it is but you must communicate that passion i love the people who led the prayers they kept adjusting our faith to understand that look it will take a hunger and a desire the moment you have options then forget about encounters are we together you have to insist tonight and say lord i'm not walking out of here barren i'm not walking out of here sick i'm not walking out of here with the same level of confusion i'm not walking out of here bankrupt of that dimension of the anointing i came with an exact desire an exact intention and whenever you insist you provoke the hand of god this is very true psalm 30 look at 37 i think it should be 37 it just came to my spirit i'm searching for that scripture now yeah delight yourself also in the lord and he shall give thee the what the desires of thy heart it is possible for god to come to a man and not be able to communicate anything because there is no desire are we together now now you see god is almighty his possibilities are endless it takes the construction that our faith builds to channel the dimension of him that we seek to see revealed in our lives are we together now if you're not barren there is no need god coming to reveal himself as one who can open up your womb you're not barren that dimension of him is possible but it is not needed as far as your desires are concerned so it is the responsibility of the believer to intentionally use your faith to create an exact expectation lord i am trusting that you will visit me i am crippled i'm trusting that this leg will work lord there are all kinds of oppression in my life all doors have been closed i'm trusting that the doors be open you cannot say lord just come do whatever you want to do that's not a very wise prayer you have to define he said give us this day he didn't just say what we want give us this day our daily bread he can give many things he sent quails he sent bread he brought water out of the rock there are several things he can do you define the possibilities of god that should be communicated to you through your faith but much more than just blind faith through specificity specificity of desire specificity of um, intention are we together now so i just thought that it is very important in fact this is a general principle that works in life not just when it comes to receiving from god you will never achieve anything when there is no exact desire you will never achieve anything when there is no 
specificity there has to be that dimension of exactness lord i am trusting you for a move of the spirit in my life i'm trusting you that my ministry will step into another dimension i'm trusting you that my family will step into another dimension end the plague of sickness and all kinds of things when you connect this way then it becomes impossible for you to walk without a miracle hallelujah praise the lord let me encourage our hearts this morning before we rise up john 14 verse 12 i am a firm believer in the bible the words of jesus are no story to me when i read them i believe them they are not just scripture they are life i believe them exactly as they are written jesus is teaching here and this is what he says verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me whoever believes on me he says the works that i do he shall also do and greater works than this shall he do because i go to the father jesus now there are all kinds of theological debates as to what exactly jesus was talking about um, many people meant a higher dimension of reality other people talk of greater results regardless of what dimension you look at it jesus was saying there is a possibility of walking in a dimension that you were not born with listen carefully a dimension that is god's own class of results are we together now he's teaching us how to live a life that is invincible and this is what he says he says that greater dimensions that you have seen manifest you will walk in and you see every time god speaks before he utters a word he vets and probes himself whether he has the capacity to make good that word every time he speaks it is a communication of a a resolve he has searched and he has found out that what he's saying is within his capacity to produce it there are several people in need of the touch of god people talk about anointing all the time they want to step into deeper dimensions they want to tap into the wave of revival that is sweeping across cities and by the way i want you to know that there is a mighty move of god that is happening across the continent of africa specifically nigeria um, away with all those blind talks that people talk as if nothing is happening it takes the eye of the spirit to see the formation there is a mighty mighty move of the spirit an awakening that is sweeping across and what a joy it is to participate in contributing our quota to that 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 unstoppable tsunami that will sweep across the nations of the earth the, the word of god is full of prophecies that points to those seasons that a time will come in the dealings of god with men where they will be able to tap into higher dimensions of his possibility they will be able to cause his glory to be revealed across territories in measures and dimensions that have not been previously known so i want you to believe up front that we are a people who believe all of god and we are a people who have aligned ourselves to allowing god find full expression there is no limit to the dimension of god that can be revealed every time god looks limited the limitation is not his capacity it is our inability to understand his system and to align enough to bring down to be able to host all the multifaceted possibilities that are contained in him are we together now and tonight there are several cases right from home i began to see several situations that touched my heart and i said lord you can't let your people go that way and the lord put something in my heart that i just want to share with us very briefly and then we'll pray i have a passion and a commitment to helping people have an encounter a true encounter not just a noise making encounter an encounter with a definite result that you will leave and it will be very clear that heaven found expression in your life heaven found expression in your situation heaven found expression that your life will be an epistle to let people know that jesus is not limited in any way if you believe that say amen, amen. hallelujah first john chapter 5 and verse 4 apostle john taught us something very remarkable first john chapter 5 
and then verse 4 and he said for whatsoever is born of God whatsoever is born of God has capacity to overcome the world are we together now that's the expression there whatever is born of God has capacity to overcome the world but then he says that that overcoming is engaged through a system the dear lady who led prayer here taught us about spiritual intelligence are we together every time you see possibilities in scripture now there are two dimensions i've taught you of accessing the reality of scripture there is the prophetic dimension realities as far as god's dimension is concerned but there is the experience of it where it becomes manifest in your life on the strength of your engaging the required mysteries that demonstrate your partnership with god to actualize it are we together now so here the bible says whatsoever is born of god overcomes the world the rendition there is has capacity enshrined in it is the composition to overcome this system and all the limitations that come with it and then he says and this is the victory in other words this is the system wherewith the victory was designed to find expression he says even our faith even our faith even our faith it takes faith in this kingdom to be able to produce realities that have been represented in scripture realities that are capable of being our testimony the fact that the bible records them does not mean they will happen automatically i think this is one of the biggest challenges to the body of christ i don't think we are unaware of the provisions that are guaranteed from scripture but the systems everybody says systems say it one more time systems the systems of the kingdom that were built around those possibilities the inability to access what system was designed to produce what outcome will make us continue to look at scripture and believe they are there but never walk in the experience of it it is god's desire not only that we read the bible and see possibilities written therein but that our lives become epistles that those realities that are represented in the bible must find expression in my life and your life when the bible says that a believer should walk in miracles signs and wonders we can read it we can write books about it but there is it's an entirely different thing to engage the systems required to bring that individual into an experience of it are we together the bible says for instance they shall lay hands on the sick many people have tried it they laid hands on the sick and the sick were not healed every time you try a thing and it does not work there is something you do not understand about what you studied that's why it takes the spirit of revelation ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 the prayer of paul to the church you don't have to turn there he cried they were born again they were believers but he knew that they needed to be assisted by a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit otherwise they would never enter into the experience of the kingdom Nicodemus came to Jesus by night chapter 3 of John and he says verse 1 rabbi he says we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things and then he said unto him in verse 3 he says verily verily I say unto you except a man be born again listen carefully he says he cannot see the kingdom then the next verse nicodemus says how can how can a man be born for a second time can he enter back into his mother's womb and then verse 5 he opens up up to another dimension he says verily verily i say unto you except a man listen be born of what water and the spirit then he says he cannot enter so he talks of seeing the kingdom an awareness of the possibilities that are there you know that there is a provision in the dealings of God with men for the sick to be healed there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men are immune from the ability of sicknesses to touch them there is a provision where we are lifted above the grip of 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 demons and devils but it's one thing to have that awareness listen believers but it's another thing to understand the systems and the mysteries that were attached to be able to cause us to walk in the experience of that outcome 
so we we hold several scriptures that we cannot defend with our lives there is a possibility for restoration but what is the key that is attached I am passionate about revealing to believers the mysteries that are responsible for causing spiritual realities to become their experience just like shortly we are going to be celebrating the victory miracles upon miracles but the issue is not just an anointed man the issue is that underlying these miracles and testimonies and the manifestations of the grace and the power of God are vessels that have aligned themselves through understanding you see most of us um, the theology about faith listen carefully the theology about faith that is being communicated as powerful as it is may limit us from walking in the experience of the power the grace and the revelation of all that is contained in God faith is not just believing unseen things um, they don't have to be unseen faith it's not just believing on seeing things so that they will manifest that's a dimension of it but faith listen true bible faith the foundation for true bible faith starts with an encounter an encounter without an encounter you will not have true bible faith an encounter is not a vision an encounter is an experience that is initiated by the holy spirit that causes a spiritual truth a reality the reality of a scripture to be crystallized in your heart the end of an encounter is conviction the end of an encounter is conviction You'll never be able to walk in a dimension where you are guessing and hoping and wondering. No, sir. Encounters are necessary for believers. That's why the Holy Spirit was given to us. The spirit of truth. Are we together now? So he introduces encounters in our lives. You can read the Bible and quote a scripture it doesn't mean you've had an encounter with that scripture you may even learn it and know it of heart sincerely speaking it has not been released in your heart but when the Holy Ghost breathes upon it it does something to you and that scripture comes alive it's called an encounter occasionally it may be backed up by visionary experiences to strengthen your conviction but the end of encounters is that you get to a point of persuasion, unbending resolve, persuasion about the possibility of God as far as that matter is concerned. Are we blessed? Second Timothy, please, chapter 1 and verse 12. Let's look at Second Timothy 1 verse 12, the B part. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. The B part says, For I know whom I have believed. Everybody say, I know whom I have believed. Now, you went to school, understand that construction. It didn't say, I have believed. Uh -uh. I know whom. So it's talking about a person first. I had an encounter, and that encounter caused me to believe that person and everything that proceeds from him. Are we together now? And then he says, And I am persuaded that he that person I've had an encounter with is able 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 an understanding of a man's ability an understanding of God's ability I have had an encounter with him I have had an encounter with his word so when I read and he says they shall lay hands on the sick it's not just story it's not just religion this is the foundation of true Bible faith so there are no options in it again you know that it is within his power to change my situation you don't say well lord i will try you let me hope that you will work today if you don't work no 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 there is a level a level of resilience you see the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions 
it's obvious from the way we live and act as believers that there is a void there is a lapse in conviction and this is a product of um the haze that is around our encounters with the word of god not the reading of it not the memory of it but that there is a gap it is obvious if i look at this gentleman right now and i tell you do you know you are sitting on the ground he's not going to pray about it he knows he's sitting on a seat are we together he's had an encounter with that seat his his even his physical senses have have responded to that reality he knows he's sitting no matter how i try to sway him he has entered a dimension of resolve he knows he's sitting on a seat if i tell him this seat is going to break he says no not just that i, I have seen the dimensions i understand the strength of this seat it can take my weight listen god allows you to vet him and probe him until you find him worth your trust God does not get angry when you ask him questions that lead to your faith being strengthened. Uh -uh. Mary said, how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man? And the angel took out time to explain. This is how it will happen. Gideon said, Lord, you are sending me to go and fight the Midianites. I need to stand with conviction. I know those guys. They are fierce. And so is it okay if I ask for a sign? It is powerful to stay with God until you are convinced. I know that there are people here, pastors who have come from several places. Let me challenge you. Do not make boastful statements until they come from the strength of an encounter. It will destroy your life. You will destroy your ministry. You will lack explanations. You will schedule a season of untold suspicion in your life. I always say never stand before Pharaoh until you have seen the burning bush. Say encounters. Bible faith starts with encounters. Encounters produce convictions. Convictions now allow you to act and take steps. It is that step that is called faith hello believing is not faith believing is part of the process that leads to faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of who god is and the integrity of his word that's faith until action is taken there is no faith are we together now i've always given this example um let me use you john Hold on. I'm going to stand there. Stand there. Just stand there. I'm going to call John. I want you to answer me, but don't come. Is that all right? John, come. Say, I'm coming. Has he come? So as far as I'm concerned, you have not obeyed me. Because this should be the reward for your obedience. Now, you have answered that you are coming, but you have not come. I interpret your not coming as a sign that you, you are expressing concern about my reliability. You are wondering if I really have this. But if I say, John, come and you come. Come. That step of faith puts pressure on my integrity. If I am joking, I better found a way of correcting it. Are we together now? Yes. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4, listen. The Bible says that one time they were going at the hour of prayer. And then the Bible says that they saw a man who was crippled. Now, they were not stupid. That man was crippled. If you've seen a crippled man, you know that there are no strength in his limbs. Even if he stands, you know that he would take the grace of God. And then the Bible says that he was calling on them to give him arms. And then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. He said, but such as I have. Listen, I give unto you. He says, in the name of Jesus, I come under an authority. I represent a government and I invoke the power that backs that government. And I ask you, if you believe, stand. The Bible says the man was still looking at them. Now, I hope you know the Holy Ghost was already hovering with all his possibilities. But at the mercy of a man who has not manifested faith. And then the Bible says Peter had to help him. Hold my hands. The Bible says Peter held his hands and he leaping 
leaping the power is released at the point of action it is the action that makes it faith not the determination to act the determination to act helps you to eventually manifest faith but the faith is only when action is taken he leaping stood he leaping stood he would have remained there forever he leaping stood Are we together now? Yes. So when, when, when you hear the word of God, you see this is why the dispensing of the word of God is so important because faith is based on a basis and the basis is not good word. The basis is not good intention. A nice positive statement cannot give you faith. It does not have the capacity to release that. God is only committed to backing what is his word. Are we together now? If it is not consistent with his character and it is not his word, there is no platform. You may act, but you are not acting upon the word. You are acting upon an information. So the word of God comes and then you hear that word listen like you are hearing right now and you believe and the holy ghost helps your own belief he supplies to you that grace and that enablement number one to consider that god is able it is within his power to create scenarios around your mind and your spirit that strengthens your conviction he can remind you and say lest you doubt have you forgotten that january this year something was about to happen and all of these anchors together to build your faith because a response will be needed shortly from you and that response must be on its on the standpoint of conviction everybody say conviction how do you look at someone who is barring and tell the person go it takes a while for pregnancy to show and that woman believes it's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant no the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you are seeing someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone brothers and sisters that's what faith does i want you to believe this the bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging their encounters produce persuasion lord you are not a joker lord you believe I, I believe you your word is true your word is real you are you are not trying to flatter me you gave jesus christ that would not be a joke on the cross and on the strength of that lord i am willing to act listen the final step is action but not blind action it has to be the action required by god this is where we miss it again are we together confession is a generic action that ought, it is the manifestation of the spirit of faith the bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe and therefore i speak so we believe and therefore we speak are we together speaking is a generic action but there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives that require actions that must be added in addition to speaking for instance the action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the lord your tithe are we together now no matter how much you confess your heavens opening you must take that action and if you take that action not believing you just dropped money you drop 10 percent of an amount it's not a charm the power is released through understanding i am coming because i have an understanding i have a comprehension of what i am doing and lord i thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven hebrews 7 and verse 8 the bible says here on earth men gave tithes but in heaven he received them talking about the system with which god performs that function of his office that is in the order of melchizedek 
right like he received the title of abraham and spoke a blessing upon abraham so he our melchizedek our high priest receives that type and authorizes that the heavens be open and that the blessing is activated on our lives but that will never happen just by dropping money it's not about the money there is an understanding so your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens are we together now you pray and fast it is spiritual but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to so it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by god's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire are we together one time jesus prayed for someone who was blind and the bible says in this case he spat on the ground and then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called Siloam that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising God and danced there for one day he would never be open he would, the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now Mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned i want multiplication i want increase is it a possibility in god yes it is now i believe it but what is the system tied what does god require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality we must find out so when we search scripture we are not just trying to know we are finding our place of partnership in scripture when you find it then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing god this that action is what we call faith and the bible says it is the victory that overcomes hmm. the victory that overcomes so what is the key to your healing the bible says they came to hear and to be healed there is no healing when the word does not come for that and when the word of god comes the power of god is present to heal and then the word comes but when the word comes it does not heal you automatically the word comes and somewhere along the line it produces conviction after conviction the word will compel obedience either through an instruction or whatever it is there are conditions for reception when you come for a meeting like this there is a condition to receive number one is to believe in the lord number two is to believe the vessel he will use believing the lord alone will not give you a miracle no sir it will always come from god through men to you are we together Jesus went to certain cities and the Bible says he could not do mighty works. That was not the limitation of his power. It was not the limitation of his spirit. But the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire. Tonight, listen, ladies and gentlemen, God did not gather us here to waste our time. It is within his power to change our lives. It is within his power to wipe our tears are we together now seated here tonight are people who truly truly require all kinds of miracles there are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life it's like it's like it's like a man in icu a lot has gone haywire the prayer life spiritual life and you're trusting god that there be a true encounter that refires your love for god you must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle there are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation nothing seems to work nothing it is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed it will inspire you to trust that others but it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close family closed finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation 
invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pecks you at that level and you never rise i watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the god i serve will take that limit away there are people here with sicknesses diseases infirmities real sicknesses probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals and um maybe they've told you you have a few months to live you have a few weeks to live now and of course we have a lot of doctors here i respect their opinion that's their opinion is their educated opinion but tonight whose report will you believe i believe in jesus i believe in his words There are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues husband is about to go wife is about to go children are haywire and they are trusting lord would you give us order of course it is within his power to bring sanity and order i mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of god's understanding and he can deal with it because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if god is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the god we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting god for children and all of that i came back from abuja um, in the course of the week and um, when I went there I was I was counseling a few people and then I saw a young lady I think a, a couple or so I can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time I was there the woman the lady had been they'd been trusting God for a child all kinds of funny medical reports you know she had something in her womb her tubes I don't know what what they gave all kinds of stories and there she had given birth you know to a very bouncing healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing listen be careful what you believe it is within your power to choose what you believe nothing forces itself on you you can choose this is a wonderful thing this is a fact but i choose to reject it it's a choice anything that is not consistent with the counsel of god it is within your power to choose to reject it are we together there are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges no job no lifting all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with god's desire how about demonic patterns mysterious occurrences in the lives of people patterns that you cannot account for god wants to step in there are people here and i believe this probably affects a lot of people especially with the recession the reality of lack and poverty lord what is the way out lord what is the way out i can't keep struggling from hand to mouth we've shared extensively there are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom and i would plead that you get those teachings they are free because when it comes to prosperity the gospel has to be taught there is an understanding that must be built in your mind now god can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy but you are never established financially through breakthrough it will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever say amen, amen. there are people here trusting god for direction you have come confused not knowing what to do you thought you had god but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and god must speak for you i want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction 
and finally all of these are lists that the spirit of god was just writing out for me as i i mean just stating out as i i i wrote them out and lastly there are people here trusting god for very strong impartations what is an impartation a transference of possibilities transference of possibilities impartation is as real as the chair you're sitting on you can transfer possibilities possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibility see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this i want you to know that the god of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies it's going to be a very quick walk tonight the lord is going to be healing the sick the lord is going to be setting the captives free and like i told us last week it is also an anointing service and i don't i don't do anointing services carelessly but there are instructions that god gave me the anointing oil that will be used tonight the lord asked me it's been with me since uh, i think yesterday i prayed with it all through until um it was only this morning while i was coming that i carried it and brought it there is a heavy grace oil does not anoint the oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed nothing is anointed on its own it has to be anointed to become a platform are we together now tonight what is your responsibility be convicted be persuaded that god is able all that has happened before now the prayers the testimonies and all of that is to build your faith some of you are coming here for the first time you've heard about the miracles many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of god everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing we have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake everybody is a devil everybody is using charm you know i humorously said it last week uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir god gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people i'm honored every time i have the opportunity to minister there are people streaming from all over the world with different issues several nations at least 47 or so nations of the world if i'm not mistaken connecting and god cannot be joking he's not playing games with us are we together everybody say i believe say lord tonight i believe you i know you are able and i trust you to step in in the name of jesus it will be for you like day and night just all of a sudden you will find out that that door that has been closed maybe forever listen it doesn't take time time is not in the equation i've taught you this time is never in the equation the anointing of the spirit is not a suggestion the anointing of the spirit is god's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with are we together now we are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men this is not some kind of superior science this is not superior spiritism we are talking of god showing up in the scene standing face to face with a man's barrier hallelujah i want you to be angry tonight and insist thank you and say lord that door must be open i was so touched and blessed during the prayer session have you experienced the reality of triumph i mean there are people here who whose testimonies have been tearsome tonight you can activate something that will make your 
six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while that you get up in the morning and within three days one door opens another door opens another dimension of encounter all of a sudden hunger all of a sudden you step back to your church and fire on the altar i mean just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles signs and wonders you bless people you shake someone's hand and all through that day a door opens you introduce something i believe it i believe it the lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural supernatural not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results literally that your life becomes a testament that they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas and they called them Zeus and Hermes, Greek gods because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men listen, believe it believe it brothers and sisters yokes are breakable causes are destroyable limitations are breakable are you hearing what I'm saying? sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though god is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say lord i have seen a dimension of your grace but i must step into it lord i have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you over. The victor's you are the victor's crown. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive the spirit and the bride telling the word to come. The word has revealed his intention. So the spirit communicates to the bride. And the bride in partnership with the spirit says, come. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, miracles. Come, breakthroughs. Come, deliverances. Come open doors, come speed, come speed, loose chains, loose bands. God is a mighty God. Do not allow your situations diminish the power of God. It doesn't take time. The level of grace it takes to produce your results is available. Mm. It's available. I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit. Number one is through encounters. When you have an encounter, something is deposited into you. Number two, by obedience to principles. There is a dimension of God's power that is deposited in principles. Whether a believer or a non-believer, whoever activates those principles, that dimension of his power is released immediately. Like the power of seed time and harvest is not for Christians. A dimension of God's power was encapsulated in that principle. But the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with God. Men have covenant with God. Not old and new. Their dealings with God have brought them to a point where God has vow a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with God and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken 
Let me tell you something that happened yesterday. I didn't plan to share it, but, but something happened. I was sleeping and I had a dream. I thought it was a dream yesterday now. While I was sleeping, I had a dream. And then because I had kept the jar of oil and I opened the cover. And then I had a dream. Now, you know, I don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people. And I had the, a dream. And then the Lord was telling me, you know, I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we use to minister to you and then something strange happened I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and I looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the Lord says I should put my hand on this jar this jar and I tell you I was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time I noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up I don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me I started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and I was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left I just locked the door and I sat down and boom my room was full of God's presence and all of that and, and I, I when I sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden I saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then I knew that God by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the Lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute. You say, Father, I'm set for your visitation. My faith is alive and I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. My faith is alive. I believe you. Jabrandos katapracatalados. Encreto katalabrande secatapracatalabadas. Jabrete katepros kodobrandi gedibalas. Jabrandes kariada balada balada bosh. Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah. We are going to be very fast. Tonight is a vigil. I know that, in fact, you can't believe how far time has gone. But I trust God for grace tonight. I want to see how God will grant me grace. And I'll be able to come out to all the overflows. All the overflows one two three by the grace of God and he will grant us grace in the name of Jesus Christ 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 please bring the three people now that the power of God comes I'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here all inside here now will you open up the gate yeah. open up the door Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Open up the gate. 
Open up the gate. Open up the gate. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys. We know this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three. Let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One, two, three. Take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Shake it, take it, take it, folks. Right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord. Bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mente kotos shotos. E prekete kaya. No limitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Breakthroughs. Shapos katalatosia. Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. your hands at the count of three i want you to shout jesus this is a baptism keys that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing a bunch of keys lord jesus for your glory let the closed door open at the count of three one two three the name that is above all names access in the realm of the spirit Shapato sote lekata I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost access to dimensions access to levels access to possibilities close doors opening the Lord showed me gates and I decree those gates are opening, 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 opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I decree and declare the opening of strange gates, the opening of strange gates. hallelujah hallelujah we're going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the Lord is asking me to pass around and come I will do that very quickly as I do that the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus miracles 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of jesus miracles in the name of jesus miracles 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost miracles in the name of jesus supernatural miracles i release you now i release you now i release you now I release you now. Step into anointings. Step into graces. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the spirit of the living God. 
There are chains I'm seeing on people's hands. Chains, 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 chains breaking now. Chains breaking now. Chains breaking now. Get ready, this road. I see chains, 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 chains. Let it break now. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Let it break now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking, breaking, breaking. Shadow Sotosh Kalai. Rakataka, let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken. Broken, 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 broken now. Broken now. In the name of Jesus. Broken, you can't stand it. That chain breaks now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 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 I'm seeing the hand of the Lord. A wind of His Spirit coming here. Lord, what is happening here in the name of Jesus? Shebas kotos kaba. Embreketo sheteleketa. Brata soto shopres keya. And brataya. I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit. Out of a pit, out of a pit, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Out of a pit, I proclaim it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and I decree and declare. I decree and declare captivity ended in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring lives now. That demonic ring lives now. I see it by the spirit. That demonic ring lives now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings, rings. I curse it by the God of heaven. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Ataparatoshi. Entekaratokotoba. Shekretoski Labaya. Can I go out? Those outside, I want you to get ready. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands here. This media place, in the name of Jesus. Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass this rose. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit, now be gone, be gone, be gone now. In the name of Jesus. Be gone now. Every strange spirit. The Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. Kapota kata. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up in the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now, out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that devil. Madam, look at me. The Lord is bringing you breakthrough now. I'm seeing you crying and the Lord is saying, in your tears. I'm coming to you. I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus. The anointing is touching some people here. I'm still like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus. Out of him. Yes. 
I'll speak in this young man. Be gone now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Out. Now. Out now. Out now. Out now. Be gone. In the name of Jesus. Be gone. In the name of Jesus. Be gone. In the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. The Lord is saying I should tell you that your sins are over. Over. In the name of Jesus. Over. Now. In the name of Jesus. Say, no matter where you are, no matter how far, I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit in this. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone here. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here. God wants to now declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands. Now, listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this. Four now. Three. Overflow. Three. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Something is going to happen right to the back. I'm seeing fire. One, two, three. Now. Now, now, now. Cause those spirits. I release breakthroughs now. In this overflow. In the name of Jesus. To the back. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I'm seeing several of you inside pit. Come out now. Come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on. Be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Ezekiel. There is something God is touching you. The first four rows inside, inside the main building, first four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. God is bringing deliverance. Where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to. I see a lot of witchcraft in your family. And the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because you are outside came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. No. Wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome. Salome. Who is Salome? Someone outside here. Salome. I'm standing close to you. Salome, come. Stand here. In the name of Jesus. I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now. So, Kua. Hallelujah. Please, don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What, why are you crying? It's well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Look at me. 
Look at me. Two of you shout Jesus as loud as you can. One to go. That's the end of it. Lord, I set them free. Help them under the anointing. Please, there is someone. The Spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what God is people outside. There is somebody around here. I want to prophesy to the person. Bring the person. That's the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm seeing a snake. God. My God. I'm seeing a, not, not this person. I'm seeing a snake. And the Lord is saying, even the lawful captives. That's what the Spirit of God is ministering to me. Please lift your hands, those of you here. Someone has got to be free. I'm Lord, that person right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free. Has to be has to be free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus here it is is coming now I see like light coming on someone right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I set you free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I set you free I'm ministering to people Kauna. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please move to me fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm, I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that? Please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oga, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I'm seeing a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now. This very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus. It's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll walk into the front and then I'll come down. Jesus Jesus I'm going to start from the front there please just allow me to do my thing let's just do it very best because we're going to pray for the sick all these people lying shortly I'm going to ask all of you to know that anybody on a wheelchair or on a your stand up right now when I ask you to stand you will stand up and take away whatever you came with hallelujah Hallelujah. Hold on. Um, my God. I'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I shall release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place. As I pass this place, let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Them now in the name of Jesus, I bring you life by the power of the spirit, the life of the life of God by the power of the spirit. Lease life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every darkness, every trace of darkness leaves, 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 leaves now, leaves now, 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 leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost it must go now it must go now someone with pile is being healed now somewhere here someone with pile is being healed now someone with pile you're going to feel like fire going through your body we'll pray for the sick shortly be healed now fire is on your head be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a yoke of delay here this row somebody somebody has to be free now in the name of Jesus Christ let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost it's to a new level in the name of Jesus the Lord is renewing 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 I hear renewal in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here and he wants to touch somebody right now in the name of Jesus let it be over let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost right now please help them my God my sister you are praying and I'm hearing your prayer come you are telling the Lord to visit you I'm hearing your prayers in my ears and the Lord is saying I should that he should give you a visitation who is this this is your husband where is he? Is he bringing? I want to pray for you. I don't like what I see. Right? The Lord is going to set them free because I've seen everything is tied down for this family. Nothing is working. Yes, sir. Is that true? The Lord is going to step in now. Edo State. Edo State. I'm from Edo State. But the Spirit of God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you. Please. Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Now, see this thing the Lord shows me all the time. Please, everybody lift your hands inside or outside. Lift your hands now. I'm seeing a map. I don't know why God always shows me this. I'm seeing a map and the Spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State. Now everyone from Benway State, get ready, the anointing of God comes upon you now. Benway State, Benway State, the Lord is setting people free. Benway State, right now, Shekratos, Kalatos, inside and outside, Benway State, Benway State, inside, outside, Benway State, I see breakthroughs coming. Benway State, anointings, Mata Lakota, is a sign and a wonder that the Lord does, where he locates people by states locates people by state i'm praying now if you're in benway state this unction is on you the work is on you inside my god i'm seeing people inside inside main auditorium breakthroughs 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 i'm hearing or to go or to go breakthroughs strange breakthroughs strange breakthroughs or to go shakato sekete e greto shalabariata embrakato shataya la kosata there is power in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jacob, 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 you're, I'm standing close to you and your name is Jacob, lift your hands, it's over now, forever, over, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the, there's somebody praying in this room, the power of God is coming on him now, someone is praying a prayer, in the name of Jesus, you are stepping into a level, the spirit of wisdom is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Asabe? Asabe. I'm hearing the name Asabe. Quickly, I want to see how God will grant us grace. This evening, there are so many sick people we have to pray for. Asabe. Is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit her family, oh God, once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Eni. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name, Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma I'm talking about at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Choma. Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you're writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We're talking about the spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna inside and outside. You are from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside, ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people. Southern Kaduna. Miracles, miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover the cover of a well be open in the name of Jesus let it be by the spirit of the living God by the spirit of the living God by the spirit of the living God let it end now I stretch my hands to you let it end captivity must end in the name of Jesus Christ captivity must end now Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotas. Embre kete shala bradosa subriada. Shala brinde keto brasara banana ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy, Italy, a country, Italy. Who has a relative in Italy? You come. There is power. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My elder sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yeah, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in the miracle service. Is, is, these are not just miracles. They are called signs and wonders. They are operations of the Spirit. You can see me call a state and everybody on that, that state 
is under the influence of the spirit it's not some magic these are operations these are superior dimensions of the operation of the spirit of the living god i want to pray for the lady in italy in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle right now a miracle right now something is leaving you even you who is standing this has caused delay in your life the lord is about to give you speed in the name of jesus christ supernatural speed the lord ends captivity in your life let it end now captivity is ending by the spirit and the power of god captivity is ending hallelujah there is somebody inside here i'm seeing a vision you are a, you are a professional footballer come out something has tied you down it's time for you to move up who is that you're a footballer that's why you came here who is that break every chain break every chain Break every chain, break every chain. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. In the name of Jesus. You play football? Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe, the devil would go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. You understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal, prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th. Get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare, I stop CS now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant? How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where is your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands. They send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand on your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. 
in the name of Jesus. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I'm seeing fire. It's like it's looking for someone in this room. This is something that has to do with someone's family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just this room. Because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. The power of God will come upon whoever that person is. And that will end it right now. End it right now. Family. God is touching the families. In the name of Jesus. It is not by power. It is not by might. It is by the Spirit of God. It is not by power. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone's prayer request. Prayer point number one. Let my sister have a child. Who is that? Prayer point number one. You are wearing red. Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? Going to three years. Did she have a child before? No, but my brother has... Did she take in before? No. This person is wearing red. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing somebody wearing red. This is the person in the vision the Lord is showing me. Who is that? This is the person I saw, but I will pray with you. Listen, I want you to believe that no barren person, there is no need to go back without a child. It's, it's, it's not necessary. Hold on. I'm not just praying for barren people at random. But just let them come since they're here. We'll pray for people. We're about to pray for people now. We'll take our time to minister. The anointing is there. You see that even the vigils, sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning. Praise the Lord. My friend, you love Jesus? Kai, please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes, uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things, but this guy, your own is acute. You are here, but truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing that you have some. I don't know whether it's at home. Please, who is that? Don't be embarrassed. The Lord wants to set you free. If you sit down, that's your, that's, that's for you. Whether you are inside, outside, make your way. Don't be ashamed. Just come out here. I want to pray for you now. My dear, I want you to call. Where are they? Who, who are you standing in for? Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. You? No, You're the, my sister. Your sister. Okay, I want to pray. The person I'm talking about, please summon the courage to stand here. I want to pray for you. I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. He has two children. How many two children? Hold on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Two, two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. The one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks, Two weeks after birth. One and one day. And he just died. We have to pray. 
you understand you, you're standing in for them and you believe god will help them we have to pray as you are praying for them it will never be part of your life you have no business with that thing somebody needs to come out this wee wee thing who is the person let's celebrate him don't don't feel bad hallelujah he's your friend he's your brother he smokes this thing he smokes uh Huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing, it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves you see. Those leaves. There is a lady come and join him i'm seeing a lady don't be embarrassed please jesus is setting you free there is a lady you can't help yourself this is not the issue of being good or bad please run boldly and come if you waste our time you just sit where you are one lady there is a lady this thing has destroyed it's not like you like it but you can't help it it comes upon you like an anointing and you have to come my dear let's pray we have to pray for the sick now in the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. I terminate the yoke of barrenness right now. Sister and brother, in the name of Jesus, they take him now. You're here for the same reason? You're here for the same reason? In the name of Jesus. You're standing for yourself? Your sister. If I ask for people who, have, who want children, except you are standing for somebody, if you are standing for yourself, make sure you, are, you have a husband or a wife. Praise God. We, we are Bible believers, but we are not stupid people. Make sure you are married officially. Because I know that there are people who just live together. Um, you, don't, you don't love God and then we have to stay. Of course, God is merciful. The Spirit of God is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. We are a family. Nobody looks down and embarrasses. There's no condemnation here whatsoever. We are here to help. We are here to show you the mercies of God. Hold my hands, my dear. This is a lady. Ah, no, this is not how. The person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is... You understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on. Don't worry. We are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned, um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He's, he's from, staring he's at from me. Benway State, sir. Eh? He's from Benway State. He's from Benway State. See how the guy yes, is staring sir. at me? If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what we are seeing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long distance stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy he's a nice person this this is what we we and co can do let's pray let's pray my friend don't worry we are praying for you eh? it's not just you stretch your hands saints of god you are anointed let's pray for him lord help this gentleman please i still insist this lady if god grants you grace in the name of jesus christ i pray for you we love you and in the name of jesus we pray for you sincerely by the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we will pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We are still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca. Is there anyone? Huh? Sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear. Come.
Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes this thing. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Rukaya. 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 Come. I love you. Eh? Come. You're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady you can see, very lovely, beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy. So every time words come like this or when we pray for people, this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace. Are we together, darling? I, I know that you may not like. Some of them, it may not even be bad friends. They just got into all of these things. And let me tell you, maturity does not deliver people from spirits. You can be growing older and still remain. You believe the Lord Jesus will help you? Hmm? You've tried to stop this thing, Abby? Yes. And you'll try and it won't work? Yes. Problems keep coming up there. I just can't stop. What do you take? I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. Pray, some of you are looking at me. Pray with all your heart. Lord, help this lady. Usually people take these things as a result of depression, all kinds of challenges, their lack of understanding the word of God, their lack of encounter with the word of God is what produces this kind of devilish effect. Hallelujah. Look at me, my dear. You are my friend, eh? Don't cry. You are my friend from today. God will help you. Eh? Say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eh? Pastor Alpha, please. Eh? You will follow up this lady. Just help her to stand strong. Some of these ladies, it's just a combination of loneliness. And then they meet all kinds of bad people. By the way, when, when it's time to do the final prayer, we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people. There are many ladies here, you want to love God and, and live for Him. But there are all these boys around that make it look like serving God is a waste of time. And they keep distracting you and before you know it, in the name of love, in the name of relationship, and, and in the name of wanting to marry you, they derail you from the path of God. Anybody who must make you leave God to marry you is not an irresponsible person. That prayer has already been answered. The answer is no. Leave the person quickly. Don't say I'm waiting on God. God is not a fool. Are we together? So go and meet Pastor Alpha. He will help you. Eh? He will collect your details. And your Rebecca, all of you, three of you. I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that, um, you know, your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name. Over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that your song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yana. Gashina, 
Kashina, Kashina, Kamala, Circuit of Jana, Yana, Kashina, Kamala, Yana. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here and let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction. And my God, what a joy to life. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Jabratos Kalabrende Geva Sarabakuri Atakatash. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus. Mandala kapratos kata fridish kata. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Le kratos ke. Are you praying, Father? We agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for. We agree for wonders. Man te kalas kota mbriata tosisiata kata loka Rusia. Bredo go shubra dis kalabrata kata faradash. Le kata prando susi priata. E kata. Jabrata shebrega de bosh. Pray. We receive miracles. We receive signs. We receive wonders. In the name of Jesus. Lord release miracles to families. Release signs. Wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. Makotopa shabradaka sode barato sesiana kosh agrata gabarato kosho brendi gede balato siada kata shabraka barako toso brigadia rabadaga da balada koso subriada balada bosh. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we decree and declare. Agree with me. Right now, let every impossible situation turn into a miracle right now. Lord, this is a representation of the cries and the desires of your people. Scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world. Lord, we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. Visit the barren, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, wipe the tears of your people by the power of your word. Let there be miracles. We release miracles, 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 miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We thank you. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now we're getting to the last phase. We're going to pray on this. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something about this oil you're seeing. It's, it's truly an oil of wonder. I spent uh, the night praying. No oil in itself is anointed. Please be careful. Don't hurt her. Don't. Ah, uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> they are wondering what to do with her my dear be comfortable okay this your case is a very straightforward demonic case your bones are fine everything is fine you've taken this just relax um if she doesn't feel the strength to stand don't force her or you can just guide her who brought her how did she come you carried her can you carry her are you that strong this is night vigilo okay take her gradually you try to walk too well eh? while they are carrying you please when you keep her exercise there's no reason out there there's no reason why this lady should go back crippled honestly speaking it's not that her bones are broken just all these demonic things so i was talking about this oil um 
there is a ritual when people begin to idolize things oil water handkerchiefs aprons um, um, stickers banners they lose the life in it religion is a very terrible thing it's important you do things according to the word of god and as directed by the holy spirit last week was an anointing service for favor and um, we're going to name this one now and then we'll pour it and then we'll have um, our anoint these guys and then we'll do it very quickly whilst we're doing that please the moment you come touch the anointing oil on your head please and please we'll make it very fast you can see that it's already five o'clock it's almost as if um, it was not a vigil <laughs> praise god father we give you all the praise I lift up this jar of oil and in the name of Jesus Christ we call it an oil of breakthrough say amen we decree and declare let this oil be a symbol of supernatural breakthrough the supernatural oil that came from my hands that was added to this I pray that the mystery of breakthrough that this represents as it comes upon you let there be strange signs and wonders in the name of jesus let this provoke angelic visitations in the name of jesus christ and let this cause the holy spirit to move in your life in a mighty way the bible says the spirit of the lord is upon me and the reason why he's upon me is because i was anointed in the name of jesus may the anointing attract dimensions of the operations of the spirit in the name of jesus we dedicate this i command this oil to lose its earthly significance and to take on the significance of a mystery in the realm of the spirit representing breakthrough at the same time let this be an oil of judgment in the name of jesus christ let this be an oil of judgment by the power of the holy spirit God's ability, God's ability is working in me. Hallelujah. We have to say it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I'm anointing you so that you will stand. And as I lay my hands, I pray that this grace of breakthrough and favor will start from you first. I want you to believe it. This is an oil that will bring supernatural breakthrough in your own life. Supernatural grace, supernatural grace, supernatural grace. Anointing of the Holy Ghost in fresh dimensions. In the name of Jesus, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing, in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, so you can give it to them. Father, we decree and declare. This is an oil of supernatural breakthrough. I can always add, please quickly station yourselves. We are going to be praying all through. As soon as, as soon as the oil touches you, please I want you to begin to pray. Worship team, you give us. Uh, okay, just play the instruments. We'll just begin to pray in the spirit. Everyone praying in the spirit. As the oil comes upon you, begin to declare, speak forth release your faith lord we decree and declare right now let miracles begin let signs and wonders and breakthroughs begin in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus you can stand here okay thank you jesus go ahead as soon as you touch the oil begin to prophesy in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare the word of the Lord becomes my testimony. The oil is anointed. Mande brada scala brede shepre de seka to brada kata balada ba. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. Make sure everyone is anointed. Make sure everyone is anointed. Young, old. Zambra di kaso di brada balada bos. Madi brasa zize anakushada cross kala ba. Please keep standing everybody it's morning already i want to make an altar call quickly our time is up it's just two minutes to six please keep standing no moving around inside outside there are people here you have seen the power of god you have seen the grace of god and you're saying apostle if you will pray for me i'm ready to hand my life over to god like the dear lady who came out 
um, and many other people. I know that it is morning, but it should not rob you. The greatest miracle, literally and truthfully, is an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, you are inside, you are outside, any of the overflows online, you are following, and you are saying, man of God, I want you to pray with me. And at the same time, there are people you have given your heart to the Lord, but things happen around your life. Your life went haywire and you need, you're saying, I, I cannot go back the way I came. I want to have this restoration, this encounter. I'm rededicating my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, please, we have just two minutes for you. Inside, outside, please clear the way for them. Make sure you don't discourage them. Let's appreciate them as they come. Wherever you are, God bless you. Make your way to the front. Are you appreciating them? They are coming. Please run, run quickly. Inside, outside. If you are coming, I want you to run. God bless you. God bless you. Clap hands for them. They are coming. God bless you. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Keep coming. Don't let anyone stop you. If you are joining them, please come quickly. Clear the way for them. Overflow one, two, three, and then the fourth one. Those online connect with us. I'm about to lead them with a very special prayer. Very special prayer. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to lift your right hand and pray this after me sincerely from your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. Tonight, come, join them quickly. Tonight, you're coming from outside. Quickly, 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 join them. Join them. Let's be very fast. Let's be very fast. Quickly. Say after me, all of you standing here, say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. I ask you to cleanse me, forgive my sins. I believe you, you were raised from the dead, and now you are alive. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare by the authority of scripture that I'm a child of God. I decree and declare that the grace to live a victorious life is given to me right now. I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, we present to you the ones you died for. And we decree and declare that this will begin the beginning of a great journey in their lives. I, I declare that your sins are forgiven. I command that the power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of Satan is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus, you go from glory to glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Now very quickly, I want you, there's a gentleman waving his hands. I want you to follow him quickly. They'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and communicate a few details to you.